So I'm Rob Blake, the R&D leader for the Ambulatory Virtual Care Division of AM&D. My entire career with Philips has really been around remote patient monitoring, allowing them to stay at home where they want to be, but still collect the data and allow their healthcare provider to have a, a good overview as to what's going on with the patient in their home. Now we're very excited to be working on the new Philips Virtual Care Portal. The new platform is building upon the Philips Health Suite platform. And so this allows us to really build secure, scalable, uh, interoperable solutions. And it's really an exciting uh, step forward for us where we can address many more conditions, have many more disease-specific protocols that will allow our customers to provide programs to their patients and to monitor them for, for various new conditions. So as part of that, we're launching new connected devices so we can expand into other disease states, but we're also launching a mobile app for the patient. You know, we have patients of, of many different ages using the system. Irrespective of their technology literacy, we want them to be able to engage with it. And so that's where the team in Philips Design really specializes in looking at how can this be as simple to use as possible, yet still provide the right information to the clinician at the right time, which is really what it's all about. So this is the Philips My Virtual Care app. So the participant would enter their passcode to access the system, and this will take them straight to the home page, which is really the dashboard of their latest measurements that they've taken. So you can see I've taken the blood pressure and SpO2 readings, but it also gives you access to some of the tasks, like the surveys I mentioned, and also measurements that are driven by the clinical protocol. So if I dig into, the, say, the blood pressure, I can actually then start to see my historic values, how they average over time. So from here, I can also either add a measurement manually or use one of the connected devices to transmit the data. So let's say today I was slightly better than yesterday. So we'll capture our values and we will add this measurement. And as you see, this measurement's now available. Once the measurement has been completed, these will actually disappear off the list for the day uh, and reappear tomorrow if that's what the protocol states. We can do a survey, so here's a heart failure symptom survey. So what will happen is the participant will click on the tasks that will allow them to access the survey and then they will have a couple of questions uh, based upon, again, their clinical state, but also what the clinical protocol and what, what the customer has set up for the participant. In this case, how are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling better today. Over the past 24 hours, please choose any of the following activities that have made you more short of breath or more exhausted than usual. So actually, I'm still feeling pretty good. And then these questions continue based upon the clinical protocol. Appetite hasn't changed. And then once the survey is complete, this information is transmitted back to the Cure Scalable platform, which will allow the clinician to actually review the results. And as you see, that task now disappears from the participants' list of outstanding tasks.